Hey, welcome back, you beans, to another video here on the channel. How you all doing? Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another How To Arc series where we're going to go on and do another How To Tame video. In this video, we're going to be taming ourselves the angler fish. Now, this fish is a deep sea creature fish, and we're going to do a little bit different today. So, we're going to do the full version here, but I'm also going to be doing a shorts version. So, if you want to just watch How To Tame This in under a minute, go and check that out. But this is for the more detailed version. Okay, so what you're going to need is a full scuba kit, as you can see here. We're going to just run in away from that dillo. And you need to go to the deep sea. You're going to need a full scuba kit, as well as raw mutton or regular kibble for its preferred food. A decent crossbow, we've got a really OP crossbow, and some trank arrows. So what we're going to do is go down to the deep sea. Now, uh, that's where they spawn. They normally spawn quite low to the floor. Now, if you had a bounty of you, such as something like one of the dolphins, which I showed you to tame in a previous episode, you can definitely do that. And you can get yourself one of them, because what you're going to do is when you shoot this angle of fish, it's obviously going to come after you. And what you're going to do, if you have a tame of you, they'll attack the tame instead of you, which will be pretty useful and um, honestly a lot better. So you want them to go for that instead. Now, we've got to be careful here, because once you do shoot them as well, they may flee, which means that you've got to stay away from sharks and stuff. So it may be best to have a tame with you for this method. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a couple down here. We're quite close to the bottom of the ocean. This is classified as the deep sea. And as you can see, we've got a level 16 over there and a level 4. Oh, great pickings. Okay, so this won't actually be too bad. We may have to spawn in a higher level just to show you guys this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go after these guys. And then once we attack one, uh, generally, they will come, more of them will come after you. So we've got two coming after us right now. The best thing to do is start shooting them. Um, basically, once their health goes down lower than their torpor, they'll start to flee. But you can chase after them like this. Be careful, though. They are known to turn around and attack you. So you just want to keep shooting these guys. Make sure you wait in 10 seconds in between shots. And this is why you want the dolphin with you, because they might turn around like that and come back after you. Uh, basically, we just want to shoot this guy again. Come on, we can knock this guy out. He's fleeing quite a lot. Make sure there's no megalodons. Okay, so we knocked that guy out. As you can see, three darts nearly killed it. And where is, did the other one go? Okay, so we're just going to get this other one as well. So we have both of them. There we go. That one's gone out. So we've got two that have gone out. You're definitely going to need narcotics for this as well. But on my rates, we probably will not be able to use them. You can feed this guy a total of pretty much a lot of things. You can mainly feed them meat. So raw mutton, cooked lamb, raw prime, cooked prime. But what we're going to feed it is some kibble because it will tame it pretty quick and wait for that guy to tame up and we'll do this one so we're going to put kibble into this one and let them tame up okay so you've just tamed your angler fish what does this mean what can they do why are they so awesome well they've actually have some really unique abilities we're going to ride this guy right now so you don't need a saddle first of all to ride them which is very cool they're incredibly fast mounts so deep sea mounts incredibly fast i know that with the goggles on we're not really being able to see much let's just take that off for a sec so it could both be a tank and a like, speed demon. Level health and melee if you want to take everything on. And trust me, this guy could take the majority of creatures on. So it's really good for that. It will harvest things up as well really well. So kill stuff and harvest them really well. But if you want to just like go around as fast as you can and just escape everything, then you can level up movement speed and stamina. And this guy will be able to outrun a bunch of creatures which will make it fantastic so that's one of the abilities you can either have it as both a attacker and sort of a fleer depending on what which way you choose to level the stat angler gel hunter so you may know angler gel oh we got we got a shark on us right now that's a big good time to test it let's level up melee damage we want to fight this guy as you can see 77 damage i mean we're quite low level as well so this guy definitely has the ability to beat stuff up get behind them they, this don't hasn't got a chance let me catch up with us it only has one attack and that is the left click don't expect any other attacks because it doesn't have anything just the left click which i didn't mention so we got that guy and now we're gonna go and get this guy got nothing on us bro Right, one of our letdowns there, we did just kill 116, level 116 at uh, level 27. So one of our letdowns really is the fact that it's such a low level. But it, the, the anglerfish can take on pretty much most sea creatures. As I was saying, it's an angler gel hunter. What does that mean? So basically the light on top of this guy will attract more anglerfish. And with the higher DPS, once you level melee, you can kill the other anglerfish and collect angler gel really efficient. Another unique ability of what this creature is, it's actually one of the only creatures in the game that can harvest silica pills from the ground. So as you can see, there's some silica pills down here. 
And we're just going to bite them up with the normal attack. And as you can see, we're actually harvesting these up at such a massive rate. Now, this guy makes it perfect for collecting Scylla Pearls in mass. Uh, if you just go across the floor and you find these black Scylla Pearls lying around, you can harvest them with this guy and get a bunch. Like, just off them few, we got 300 odd. And that's without rates being boosted too much. So that is insane. Just imagine if you know a good area that has a lot of Scylla Pearls spawn, this is your guy for taking it down and collecting them silica pearls. It also gives a little light source off. I mean, it's not mega, but it does give a little light source off within the deep sea. So it is useful for that if it's quite dark. You've got this guy lighted up. As again, if you're going around on a fast mount, that's pretty cool. And as I mentioned before, it is a really good combat fighter because you can melee up. You can level up melee and it's health and it can take on megalodons. I mean, this guy is all around a really good creature to take on. The deep sea with obviously if you beach this guy so if you breach the water it will die but you can go up rivers with this guy it's small enough to fit up rivers so you can take this guy upstream and therefore use him for example in the islands the network of rivers to collect silica, silica pills from the floor there so it doesn't have to be just in the sea this guy can also uh, go down the rivers and is very useful for that so there we go guys that is the angler fish hopefully you've enjoyed if you have make sure to like button Subscribe to become you, and I'll see you in the next episode of Fantastic Day. Bye. <laughs>